हेलो एंड वेलकम टू द सवेरा दिस इज दिंकल बिफोर यू विद आर स्पेशल सेगमेंट कॉल्ड ऑल अबाउट योर कॉन्स्टिट्युएंसी वेल बिफोर वी मूव टुवर्ड्स टुडेस टॉपिक लेट मी क्विकली टेल यू व्हाट दिस सेगमेंट स्टैंड्स अबाउट इन दिस शो वी रिवाइंड बैक टू द फॉर्मर इयर्स व्हेन वी हैव सीन सम ऑफ द एक्साइटिंग पॉलिटिकल शोडाउन्स एंड नेल बाइटिंग कॉन्टेस्ट दैट हैव शेप्ड द लैंडस्केप ऑफ दीस वेरी कॉन्स्टिट्युएंसीज एंड इन टुडेस एपिसोड वी विल बी टॉकिंग अबाउट संगरूर Sangrur's Lok Sabha seat that was established back in 1951 has seen many tall stretcher leaders coming out of it. We are talking about the current CM also Chief Minister Pagwant Man who debuted in political arena with Sangrur's MP seat starting in 2014 when he defeated Shomni Akali Dal with a massive margin of 1 over 1 lakh votes. Well keeping them at side for a moment let me first tell you about the problems faced by the Sangrur constituency established in 1951 Sangrur Lok Sabha seat has always been in the headlines comprising of five assembly constituencies it has witnessed a diverse array of political leaders including former chief ministers Surjit Singh Barnala and Rajinder Kaur Bhattal and the current chief minister Pagwan Singh Man despite such political prominence the region continues to grapple with persistent issues that have plagued its development the constituency's landscape is marred by systematic problems ranging from skewed sex ratios to poor women's literacy rates and a worrying increase in cancer cases moreover issues like inadequate drinking water sanitation escalating farmer suicides and rampant poverty cast a shadow over the region's progress Despite being a key contributor to Punjab's wheat production the apathy towards farmers and the agricultural laborers has turned Sangrur into a symbol of agrarian distress Traditionally Sangrur has been a battleground for Shomni Akali Dal and the Congress each securing seat multiple times however it was until 2014 the emergence of Aam Aadmi Party with chief minister Pragwant Man's consecutive wins has reshaped the political landscape Man's tenure has brought both people hope and skepticism with some lauding his efforts while others questioning the depth of change as the 2024 elections approach the competition intensifies the incumbent Shomni Akali Dal Amritsar seeks to maintain its stronghold while the ruling Aam Aadmi Party aims to reclaim its seat now fortified by Bhagwant Man's tenure and both as both MP and CM the Aam Aadmi Party has fielded Gurmeet Singh Hayer while Shomni Akali Dal has put forward Simarjeet Singh Man ensuring a fierce electoral battle however three major parties BJP Congress and Shomni Akali Dal are yet to announce their candidature from the region to present you the clear picture from the past let me quickly take you through the former four terms of Lok Sabha Assembly seats from Sangrur to tell you how political parties have performed starting from 2004 to 2000 2019 in the 2004 the sangrur seat was gained by shomni akali dal from shomni akali dal amritsar party the major fight was between akali dal and indian national congress with the akali dal candidate sukhdev singh tinsa of becoming victorious by gaining 2 lakh 86828 votes in 2009 general election sangrur seat was gained by congress from akali dal sangrur was won by congress candidate vijay inder singh singla singla emerged victorious by securing 3 lakh 58670 votes his rival sukhdev singh thinsa of shomni akali dal won 3 lakh 17709 votes which accounts to 34.13% vote share in 2014 the incumbent chief minister pagwant man became member of parliament for the first time by winning huge mandate in 2014 pagwant man aap's candidate received 533237 votes man registered huge victory over shomni akali dal candidate sukhdev singh tinsa by a huge margin of over 2 lakh votes sukhdev singh tinsa in 2014 got 321516 votes in 2014 elections Moving on to 2019 in 2019 Lok Sabha elections fight was mainly between Aam Aadmi Party in the National Congress and Shomni Akali Dal in which clear mandate was received by incumbent Chief Minister of Punjab Pagwant Man Man contested from the seat and secured 413561 votes which accounts for 37.4% of vote share 
Indian National Congress candidate Kaval Singh Tillo received 3,3050 votes, which is 27.43% of the voting share, while Praminder Singh Teens of Shumni Kalidal got only 2,63,498 votes to secure the third position. It is interesting to see that Simarjit Singh Man, who won the election in 2022 by election, also contested the 2019 elections where he managed to get only 48,000 votes. But after Pagwant Man vacated the seat winning the assembly elections of 2022 the by elections were held which were which were won by shomni akali dal amritsar candidate simarjeet singh man who is now again set to contest the elections from the same region well that's all in our today's all about your constituency segment for more updates on lok sabha elections stay tuned to the savera